Boom, be doo, ba ding dee dee, boom. Oh, loo, loo, little loo, loo, little loo, with freckles on your skin. Always in and out of trouble, but mostly always in. Using dad's name tag for the tail of your kite. Using mom's lipstick for the letters you write. Little loo, loo, little loo, loo, there's no one quite as smart. Doesn't matter what you're doing, you're doing it with your heart. Shiny girls are dancing, there's a sparkle in your eye. When can we look forward to your next surprise? What a surprise! Oh, the clock says 7.30, it's really after 10. Looks like Lulu's been repairing it again. Oh, you're wild, Why? you know it's true, Lou. And you're very hard to take. Little Lulu, we love you, Lou, just the same, the same. Little Lulu, we love you, Lou, just the same. that grown-ups act pretty weird around babies? First, they get away with doing all kinds of weird things with their faces. I bet if they did that walking down the sidewalk, they'd probably get arrested. But what's even worse is the way grown-ups talk to babies. I once saw a mother lean down into a baby carriage and say, Gootsie, wootsie, snookum, wookums. I looked in and there was this baby just staring up at this lady thinking, I'm sure you're a very nice lady, but... You're making no sense at all. So naturally, the mother said, How's my sweetie, weedy, poopy, whoopy? Well, if you ask me, if that's how parents speak to their babies, it's no wonder it takes them so long to learn how to talk. Okay? Did I scare you too good? <laughs> you didn't scare me, Lulu. <laughs> Somebody stole my doll's wig. A thief? In my own house? Oh, we better find him. I haven't seen the wig, dear. Unless your father is sitting on it. Hey! You don't have my doll's wig, do you, Mr. Moppet? I'm used to losing hair, Annie, not finding it. Hmm, this sounds like a job for... The spider can catch your thief. And I even know who it is already. You do? Who? Your dad, of course. He could use some hair. Well, for your information, he doesn't have it. I'll prove he took it. But first, I need a disguise. <laughs> Why couldn't he just get into his disguise at your house, Lulu? That'd be too simple. Just get me into your living room so I can keep an eye on your dad. <sighs> Tubby! Huh? Hey! What's going on? Rescue of a runaway plant. I hope it's the last. <gasps> what? Thanks for saving my plant, Officer McNabb. Lulu, did you know it talks? Sometimes it doesn't stop. Uh, what I meant is that um, it's a, a, a special... Um... Talking Mother's Day gift. Talking Mother's Day gift. Well, that explains... <gasps> Mother's Day? Oh, no. I forgot Mother's Day. <laughs> <sighs> the things I do in the line of duty. Us, too. Uh, Pop, this is a special Mother's Day gift. What a nice plant. Feels dry. It needs some water. Gosh, I have half a mind to drop this case. At least you don't smell like garbage anymore. Here's a new disguise, Tubby. Oh, no. No. Well, I suppose it's sometimes on difficult cases a detective will dress like a lady. And now for the final touch. You look swell, Tubby. <laughs>
Your mother's hat was a great idea, Lulu. Your father won't suspect a thing. When we're with my dad, I'll say, there's a mouse under the chair. And I'll search him, find the wig, and solve the case. Oh, no! Mouse! Eek! A mouse! Oh, hey! Don't worry. I'll get it. Get off! <laughs> hey, look out for the... I'd better be gone now, Mr. Moppet. It was nice meeting you. Lulu, we really must have a talk about your choice of friends. Sure. Did you find the wig? I don't know. I found a whole bunch of things in his pocket. Say, do you smell smoke? Uh oh. Ouch! Ow! 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 I'm burning! <laughs> Tubby, you ruined my dress! <laughs> And my mom's hat. <laughs> your father's pipe. Doesn't he know smoking is bad for your health? I don't know what's worse to have in the house. A thief or a detective? Let's get Tubby another disguise. <gasps> I had to customize your dad's clothes, so he'll think I'm a real detective. I think he's gonna think something else. Where did you get that hat and coat? That's what I thought he'd think. You have to come down sometime, and I'll be waiting for you. Hey, Lulu, I solved the case. The mother bird must have flown into your room and taken the wig. She made a nest out of it. Gee, Tubby, you really are a good detective. But I guess I can't take the wig back now. Sure you can. Yippee! <gasps> there, case solved. Gee, thanks, Tubby. But what about those little birds? Don't worry about it, Annie. Tubby thought of them, too. Want to play some more hide-and-seek? But if we just play hide. Aren't feet weird? And toes bizarre. Not to mention ugly and... Ugh. Well, you get the point. I mean, you'd think that when they were designing the human body, they could have come up with something better than feet to put on the end. Something more fun. <laughs> like a bike. I finally convinced my parents to take me to the amusement park the other day, and boy, was it great! We ate popcorn, pizza, and pink cotton candy, and then we went on the rumble, the zapper, and the twist. It was so much fun! I guess that's why they call it an amusement park. Funny, my parents didn't look too amused. They just looked sick. liked your lunch, dear. But did you have to bring it home with you? This is the place. They're only a dollar. Funny. All of a sudden, I'm hungry. <laughs> we can share. <laughs> what about this one, sweetheart? <laughs> Thank you. See, Tubby, this is how you treat a lady. Um, aren't you forgetting something? Your rolls, monsieur. <sighs> We don't need to see the menu, because we'll have whatever it is people are eating for a dollar. Ah, the frog legs. <gasps> a marvelous choice. And for your main course? <gasps> Monsieur did not pay for the rolls! Hmm. 
people eat frog legs? They actually pay for them and eat them too? I know where they could get their own frogs and for free. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? I bet if we catch lots of frogs, that restaurant will buy them. Then we could pay for the rolls you took. I didn't steal them. Rolls are free at restaurants. Well, this is it. The last time we were here, the swamp was full of frogs. I hope they don't remember that you scared them off with rocks. Oh, frogs are too dumb to... Remember? This might be trickier than we thought. Here I come, Tubby! Shoo, Froggy! Shoo, Froggy! Hey, shake a leg! Shoo! Shoo! Gotcha! Good catch! But don't squeeze him! That's in case he gets hungry. We don't want a frog with skinny legs. <gasps> That's my mother's hat box cover! She'll be really mad! Whoa! <laughs> Listen to that frog croak. I bet he's laughing at us. If I were him, I'd laugh, too. Us fellers built a raft last time we came. We could use it to get the hat box cover. And teach those frogs who's boss around this swamp. Those frogs think they're so smart, but we'll get them if we camouflage the raft. Come on! When we get near the frogs, remember to duck into the leaves. I'll help! Now we're cooking. No, we're not. We're sinking. This raft will never sink. <gasps> Too bad we're not on it. I've had enough of this. I'm getting my hat box cover, and that's it. Darn. No more frog hunting for me. You've got to expect a little trouble, Lulu. You call getting outsmarted by frogs a little trouble? I bet we can still catch some. No way. Wow! Good thing you grabbed those rolls. We got them! I knew this was a good idea. I couldn't help myself. I had to have more of those delicious frog legs. Well, we've got a whole box full you can eat. I think I've had one too many. I wonder where that maitre d' is. This is pretty important. Maybe we should only talk to the maitre a. Ah, Mademoiselle and Monsieur are back for more rolls, I see. Well, they are only free if you eat a meal. You'll be giving us more than free rolls when you see what we've got. We have some frogs here for you. Lots of frogs. Freshly caught frogs with two legs each. Frogs? For me? See? No! no! Huh? Huh? And then my boss mm. said, Hey, wait! A frog in your throat, dear. Gosh, why is everyone afraid? Where do they think frog legs come from, anyway? Responsible. You must get rid of these frogs. <laughs> Please help me. I'll pay you a nickel a piece to get rid of them. Sure. Wow, there's sure a lot of money in frogs. But I don't want them to be eaten after all. We should let them go. Okay, Lulu. The frog legs here are better than the last place. Oh, we'll let them go, all right, in this restaurant. Ever think about how some words are really funny when you put them together? Like toilet training. I mean, what would you train a toilet to do? Roll over and fetch? <laughs> Maybe an attack toilet would keep burglars away. 
But I think a dog would be better and definitely easier to walk. And then there's fly fishing. Not only would the hooks have to be teensy-weensy, but what would you use for bait? And let's not forget baby powder. Do you just add water and presto, baby? Well, let me tell you, that's not how it works. I know, because I whipped up a batch with water, and you know what I got? I got yelled at for making a mess. your father is doing? Okay, Mom. What you doing, Dad? I thought you went to buy wood for a new bookshelf. Huh, new wood is too expensive, so I'm using some of these extra floor supports. I need a hand. Could you please ask your mother to come down? Okay. Whoa! Rat! <laughs> On second thought, maybe I will go and buy some wood. I'd sure like to help my dad find that wood he needs. Hey, maybe Tubby and the boys know. They used wood to make their clubhouse. Hiya, fellas! Oh. Ha! <laughs> hey, give me back my marble, Iggy. Fellas, can we ask you a question? No. Can't you see we're having a club meeting? It's members only. If we were members, then could we ask you a question? No! no. The day we let girls into the club is the day we move our clubhouse. <laughs> Ow! Now look at what you did. That's why we don't let girls in our club. Fine. Hmm. Lower! Stores will be built on this spot. So they're finally gonna tear down this old building. I think I know where we're going to get some really cheap wood after all. <laughs> this is a great idea. Hey, who put that sign there? Whoever's building stores here. <laughs> <laughs> but we'll have to move the clubhouse. To where? There are no other empty lots around anywhere. I think we can trick someone into letting us use their backyard if we let them into the club. Lulu! <laughs> no! But we gotta save the clubhouse. Okay. You're right. Gee. Huh? Say, Lulu, wanna join our club? No. You could be president. You'll be boss, and you can do anything you want. Only if Annie can be a member, too. She said yes, fellers. Old Tubby sure can handle women. Fellers, meet President Lulu. President? Come back after lunch for your first meeting as President, Lulu. See you later, boys. Don't worry. She'll have no real say. Oh. Just like a grown-up president. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Say, what are you doing? Don't you remember? I said the day we let girls into the club is the day we move the clubhouse. And as president, you get the honor of leading the way. Huh? huh? We'll push. <laughs> Gee, we sure elected a strong president. Fellas, mind if we take a shortcut? How do you know where we're going? Women's intuition. I don't like the sound of that. Ah! Now let's.
let's take the real shortcut. Ah! Piggy, go see where we're going! You call that a proper turn signal? Hey! Come back with my uniform! Look at that! They're even making cars out of wood. And I can't find enough cheap wood for a lousy bookshelf. and taking a policeman's uniform? What is this? A $5 ticket is what it is. Where will we get $5? Right here. I'll buy some of this wood for $5. Thank you. <laughs> This'll do just fine. <laughs> well, I don't like it. You shouldn't have tricked us, Lulu. You said when I was president, I could do anything I want. So, one lump or two? <laughs> Today in class, the nutritionist said, you are what you eat. And you know what? I found out she's right. At lunch in the cafeteria, I saw our nutty science teacher eating nuts. And Biff Bentley, the big school show-off, was eating a hot dog. And then when I got home, my dad was in his usual spot on the sofa watching TV, but he was eating potato chips. And then Mom came in and told him he was a big couch potato. So then I started thinking that being what you eat can come in really handy. Like for my big math test tomorrow. Instead of studying, I asked Mom for something really special for dinner. Brains! Boom, ba doom, ba doom, dee dee, boom. Oh, Lulu, little Lulu, little Lulu, with freckles on your skin. Always in and out of trouble, but mostly always in. Using Dad's name tag or the tail of your kite. Using Mom's lipstick for the letters you write. Little Lulu, little Lulu, there's no one quite as smart. Doesn't matter what you do when you're doing it with your heart. Shiny girls are dancing, there's a sparkle in your eye. When can we look forward to your next surprise? What a surprise! Oh, the clock's at 7.30, it's really after 10. Looks like Lulu's been repairing it again. Blow your wild, Why? you know it's true, Lou. And you're very hard to take, little Lulu. We love you, Lou, just the same, the same. Little Lulu, we love you, Lou, just the same. for a quick room cleaning. First, there's the fast way. Bring everything that's making the mess to your best friend's room, and when it's time to clean her room, switch back. A faster way? Push everything into a big pile, throw a blanket over the top, and tell your mom it's a new beanbag chair. And everyone knows the fastest way. Shove everything into your closet. But if you do that, you better stay tuned for Lulu's tips for a quick closet cleaning. Tubby the detective is in business. Just 25 cents a case, two cases for, um, uh, 60 cents. Tubby, I think I need a detective. 25 cents, please. Now, what's your problem? 
Every time us girls watch a movie during Annie's sleepovers, someone steals our popcorn. Oh, boy. Finally, a real crime. I'll catch the thief for you, Lulu. Hmm, when's the next sleepover? Tonight. But only girls are invited. Iggy even has to go stay at Willie's. No one will even know I'm there. I'll meet you outside Annie's house at 7 o'clock. Gee, thanks, Tubby. If Tubby doesn't show up, I'll ask for my quarterback. Uh, hi. <coughs> Tubby? Oh, my gosh! What are you doing dressed up like a girl? Well, only girls are invited, and I knew I'd make a pretty good girl. I like the name Doreen. So call me Doreen Dainty from Hollywood. If you say so, Tubby. But let's forget the Hollywood business. Hi, Lulu. Who's your friend? This is Doreen Annie. Doreen Dainty. From Hollywood. <laughs> Come on in. We're in the bathroom putting on makeup. Makeup? But what about the movie? What about the popcorn? I guess I forgot to tell you about the makeup part, Doreen. <laughs> Everyone, this is Doreen Dainty. Uh, from Hollywood? Oh, yes. Our help is definitely needed here. Oh, what do you mean? Uh, I don't need help. <gasps> Wait, I gotta do something with Doreen first. Are you sure about this glue, Lulu? This wig will never come off. Oh. If the girls try to curl your hair, we're done for. Lulu, Doreen, are you in here? I'm just powdering Doreen's nose. Poor Doreen. Come on, girls, Doreen is in trouble. Gee, Lulu, what did you do? Glue this powder on? Don't worry, Doreen. We'll fix you up just right. <sighs> wow, you're brave. You didn't even flinch when I pulled out your hair. Can we please watch the movie now? Okay, but first we have to get in our nightgowns. Doreen forgot to bring a nightgown. Oh, I have one that should fit you. Oh, that's nice of you. Doreen wears her mother's clothes all the time. Don't you have anything with the race cars on it? Now we'll find out who the thief is. Let's get this show on the road. Good popcorn. Could I please have some? Sure. Hey! It's gone! Oh, gone. Where? 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 The thief must have come through this open window. And where'd he go? Doreen will catch the thief. She's an even better detective than Tubby. Ouch! Let's watch the movie and stop worrying about the popcorn. We've got a whole box of candy to enjoy. <laughs> Would you like some popcorn? It's very good. Relax, Willie. It's me, Tubby. Huh? No way. Tubby would never wear a pink nightgown. Maybe a yellow one. And that hair. It's a wig, but Lulu glued it on. You're not gonna turn us in, are you, Tubby, old buddy? I won't, but you gotta do something for me. Climb back down and get the candy. Doreen, can I have some candy? Doreen? <gasps> Where'd she go? Do you think... Could she have been stolen, too? Something weird is going on. Come on, girls. Let's check out the house. Hurry up, you two. Doreen, <gasps> where are you? <gasps> Our popcorn! popcorn! I, uh, I caught them red-handed, girls. <laughs> what do you mean, caught us? You wanted us to steal the candy, too. Come on, girls. Let's reel them in. <laughs> Doreen is tubby, girls. I asked him to come solve the popcorn case. Ow, 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 I didn't ow. know he'd try to trick us out of all our snacks. What are we gonna do with them? 
They can watch the movie with us, but first we have to make some adjustments. There! Now all us girls can watch the movie together. See? It ain't so bad, guys. Yeah. At least we get some popcorn. Choosing a baby's name is tough, but not if you follow Lulu's name plan. First, decide what kind of kid you want, then pick the name. You want a tough kid? Name him Spike. A cheerleader? Name her Muffy. And of course, for a smart kid, Lulu. But please, don't name your kids because of what they're like as babies. I mean, who wants to go through life being called stinky? When girls get up in the morning, they have to shower, scrub, brush, floss, and blow dry. And boys, they just throw on some old dirty clothes and they're out the door. Mom says being dirty is in boys' jeans. Well, if you ask me, it's not just in their jeans. <laughs> it's on their shirts, too. gonna show those West Side boys. We'll stomp them into the ground until they're flatter than pancakes. Well, go get them. What are you waiting for? Are you kidding? Those guys are huge. Oh, oh look what they did. They ate my they lunch. Ate my the place. I wish they'd let us join their club. Then maybe we could help them get even. I'll ask my brother Iggy. Me and Iggy are just like that. Hey, Iggy, how about if he... Out! Whoa! Just for two minutes, I'd like to be as strong as an elephant. Then I'd wreck more than their clubhouse. The other day, when I held my arm a certain way, I think I saw a muscle. Wow, a gym. Let's look around. See? There's the muscle. But it's not very strong. I have to hold it up. I wish I were strong enough to lift this. Oh, Lulu, you're so strong. Oh, oh, my gosh! Nothing. Look what Lulu's doing. I oh, don't believe look it. Look at that, it must weigh a ton. It's locked. Maybe there's a back way in. Somebody's coming. <laughs> and up, and up, and... Oh, I'll never get to my workout. Phew. Hey, there's the big dumbbell Lulu was lifting. That's a barbell, you dumbbell. I bet it's not as heavy as it looks. If Lulu can lift it, so can I. Hey, this is no place for kids. Scram! Yes, sir. We're going? We're going. Lulu gets so strong. I just wish I could remember how I held my arm that time I saw a muscle. Hmm. Huh? Where'd that come 
from? And look what it did to that tree. Gosh. Wow. Get a load of Lulu. Gee, Willikers. She must have pulled that big tree out of the ground. Without even lifting a finger. I don't believe it. Let's see you pull out that one. Don't be silly, Tubby. That one isn't in our way. What are you doing, Tubby? No girl can be stronger than me. Come on, Tubby. Come, Come on, on, Tubby. Tubby. You, you can, can do it. it. You, you can do it. it. You, you can't do it. Go. 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 Oh. We need Lulu in our club. Good news, Lulu. We're gonna let you two join our club. Oh, goody! At Yay! last, we're in! We've got big plans for you. Follow me, men, uh, uh, guys, uh, uh, people. <laughs> oh, boy, I've always wanted to see what's inside. Gosh, it's pretty bare, Tubby. Oh, we'll fill it soon enough once we raid the West Side Boys Clubhouse. Oops, sorry. She's gonna cream those West Side boys. And then we should get her on the boxing circuit. There's a strongman competition coming up. And that guy in the gym. Well, she could teach him some manners. Oh. Now we've got a big problem. They think I'm really strong. I can't take on all the West Side boys. Look, it's that tornado again. Yeah! What's going on? Next time, we'll really fix Tubby and his frady cats. Wow! She ripped the door right off its hinges. Let's get out of here. We wanted you to beat the West Side boys, Lulu, but you didn't have to throw us at them. From now on, I vow never to use my great strength again. A word of advice to all you parents about bath time. Kids work hard at getting dirty. It's practically a full-time job. So if you want us to wash away all our hard work, You'll have to do better than tossing in a couple of plastic boats and a rubber ducky. Come on, tear out that old bathtub and put in a bath pool. Can't you just see it? Bubble fountains, wave machines, surfing, and dolphins. <laughs> then you never have to worry about getting us kids into a bath. You have to worry about getting us out. to go skiing for the first time. Oh. Hey, that was easy. But I better be careful not to break anything, like my leg. Hi, Dad. Oh, I can't bear to watch. <laughs> oh, no, no, Lulu, that's not how you ski. How do you know? You've never skied before either. Ah, but I've watched it enough on TV, so I'm going to go to Sky Top Mountain to practice. Want to come? Sure. We can learn how to ski together. There's even a big ski competition today. We're not going to go in it, are we, Tubby? 
nah, it's for old people. You have to be over 16. But we can watch and maybe you'll learn something. Gosh, this mountain is really big and steep. You have nothing to worry about, Lulu. I'll protect you. Why, after today, you'll be a champion skier. Look out! <laughs> Good thing this bump was here. Whoa, whoa. Where am I? At the Sky Top Mountain Skiing Contest. But that's on Saturday. This is Saturday. And I've been buried since Tuesday. I don't want to learn how to do that, okay, Tubby? Neither do I. Gosh, I wish I could ski like her. Oops! But I don't think I'll ever learn how to do that. That might be the first thing you learn. <gasps> What's that? I'm not sure, but... Whoa! <gasps> wow! I skied, and I fell, and I'm alive! But not for long if I fall down this hill. Hey, look! There's the ski contest! He's flying like a bird. He's flapping his arms like one, too. He landed. They're picking him up. They're carrying him away. Birds don't have to be picked up and carried away. Birds don't ski. Oh, gotcha! What are you doing, Lulu? I'm going to practice on a smaller hill. <laughs> I don't think there's such a thing as a smaller hill, Lulu. I'll tell the ambulance to stand by. Smarty. Lulu, what are you doing? Practicing, silly. Sorry, I didn't mean to jump the line. It's not your turn. And hey, you're just a little girl. Stop. I haven't even learned how to ski yet. Can you want me to stop? seen anything like it. Your friend is a fantastic skier. Well, she should be. I taught her everything she knows. She knows how to ski after all. At least I won't see what I hit. I hope those other skiers aren't mad at me for going ahead of them. Hello, Mr. and Mrs. Tompkins. Wow, I skied. Now how do I stop? Oh, I guess this is how you stop. happened to the mountain? Hey, little girl, what are you doing in the city dump? Uh, I was skiing at Sky Top Mountain. I think I better call the police. Police? But, but, I didn't mean to go before those other skiers. It was an accident. Hello, I have a little girl here at the city dump. She says she was skiing at Sky Top Mountain and... What's that you say? Okay. The police will be right over to pick you up. Gosh. Imagine putting a little girl in jail for jumping the line and going skiing. I wonder if they put handcuffs on little girls. You can sit in the middle, Lulu. Don't worry, Officer McNabb. I won't try to escape. You know, if I could do it over again, I'd wait my turn before skiing. Honest. Are all those people looking for me? That's right. Boy, I must be in really big trouble. Little girl, it gives me great pleasure to present you with this beautiful silver cup. No one has ever jumped so high and skied so far. Wow! I can't believe you didn't tell me you were a champion skier, Lulu. I guess I am. All I have to do now is learn how to stop. It gets so busy in kids' rooms at night, it's amazing we ever get any sleep. Just think about it. First, there are bed bugs trying to bite you. And the tooth fairy. At least she leaves money for our teeth. 
Then there's the Sandman sprinkling sand in our eyes. Boy, if he went to my school, he'd be looking at three weeks' detention for that. And the Boogeyman, who's there when your eyes are closed, but poof, gone when you open them. How's a kid supposed to sleep playing that game all night long? And even at Christmas, something called sugar plums dance on our heads. Parents, forget the nightlight. We need a traffic light. Mm-hmm. <laughs>